Hi, back with a little math and patterning. So I wanted to show you a couple different ways that we can do patterning. So the first one I'm going to show you is patterning by size. Again, I have all these little lovely things at school, but you might have some things at home where you might be able to cut some paper or make some things or I have faith in you, you can do it. So I have the same shape and same color. What shape? This is a triangle. I know it's a triangle because it has three sides. Will you help me count them? One, two, three. Let's count this one. It's also a triangle. One, two, three. So each of these are a triangle. And are they the same color? Are they the same? Sure, they are both yellow. So we're gonna make a pattern with our yellow triangles. We're gonna call this one big, and we're gonna call this one little, because they're different sizes. Same color, same shape, different sizes. Here we go. I'm gonna start with our little one. Hope that you can see here down on my desk. So small, large, small, large. My pattern is repeating. What will come next? What am I going to put right here? Let's say them again, and then you tell me. Small, large, small, large. Did you say small? That's right. To make it a repeating pattern, we need a small one to go right here. Good for you. Kiss your brain. Okay, so that is doing patterning by size. Okay? We can also do patterning by shape. I have some silly shapes here that I was able to cut out at school. Let's see what this one is. Can you see? This one is a smiley face. That's right. This one is a flower. So we're going to do a simple AB pattern with our shapes. They're both the same color, right? The color is the same. The shape is different. So here we go. We have our smiley flower. Smiley flower. What's going to come next? Smiley, flower, smiley, flower, smiley. Yay! Let's keep going. Smiley, flower, smiley, flower, smiley. That's right. That's going to be a flower. All right, let's go one more time to see what goes here. What's going to come next? Smiley, flower, smiley, flower, smiley, flower. Did you get smiley? That's right. Changes back and forth every single time. Now, if you're ready for a little more complicated of a pattern, you can do like an A, A, B. Let's try that. We're going to go two flowers, one smiley, two flowers, one smiley. Our next one would be a flower. Good for you. Okay. And how we've, um, Done patterning the most is usually by color. Um, color is one of our basic uh, vocabulary uh, units for uh, math and helping us use describing language in science also. So I have some blocks. What color blocks do you see? Do you see a blue block? Good for you. Do you see a green block? Bravo. 
do you see a red block? All right. So these are kind of nice because they fit into each other and they help us work on fine motor. You could also stack things if you are working on balancing and fine motor skills. Okay, so I have blue and green. I put blue next. I'm going to make my ABA pattern. Blue, green, blue. That's right. Green is next. Blue, green, blue, green. Good job. There's blue. Blue, green, blue, green, blue. There's green. Good job making a pattern with me. Let's try a little bit trickier of a pattern. Let's take these apart. Let's use our blue and green and red. We'll start with our blue and green again, but next I'm gonna do red. So there's the basis of my pattern, and now we're gonna repeat. Blue, green, red, repeat. Blue, green, red. Yay! Blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. What comes next? Let's do one more, yep. One more re repetition of the pattern. Blue is next. Blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. Blue, green. Okay, last one. Blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. Good job. There is our ABC pattern. Lights are off, it's time to go.